Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now I am back and I'm feeling a little bit better now so I'm going to start doing videos. Okay so today we've got the Experimental Branch 0704 so it's the first largest patch they've done since the Interceptor update. Okay so I'm going to run through the Experimental Branch with you for all the fixes that Hello Games have actually done. Okay so we'll start off shall we so excuse me um fixed a rare issue that could cause a blocker after restarting a mission fixed a number of minor text issues fixed a number of minor visual gl glitch glitches affecting the interior and exterior of the sentinel interceptor now i've noticed something about that you can actually walk straight through them okay so uh don't all like solid objects but it doesn't matter they're, they're really good anyway and i've got my big review coming up as well i think uh jim's um jim games has just done one and he gave it a really high rating and trust me guys i'm going to give it a high rating as well because it's awesome okay fixed an issue that could cause could prevent the sentinel multi-tool from being cleared out of its case after being claimed by the player sorry guys still got a split in a day find it difficult fixed an issue that could cause npc npc ships to move in a jerky fashion in multiplayer i found that in the space anomaly okay i'm glad that's fixed thank you hello games fixed an issue that could cause that that caused a planet the planet pop-up to be filled with the placeholder data in certain views in the discovery page fixed a rare issue that could cause that could disable input while viewing a conf confirmation pop-up in the ui the eye textures for corrupt corrupted sentinels have been improved fixed a number of visual issues in vr uh, in VR wrist menu projectors. Let's move down. So we move all the way down. There's a lot, guys. Improve the visual feedback when repositioning VR wrist menus. Fixed an issue that caused some companions to be to be uh, rendered facing the wrong way inside the UI. Fixed an option that has been added for VR players enabled a third twist axis on virtual joystick allowing them to roll and yaw in the ship fixed a rare issue that could cause the explosions when destroying small freighters cargo pods to be too small fix an issue that caused the weapons on corrupt sentinels to be invisible okay well i thought that that was part of the actual game i thought i thought they could go invisible anyway but anyway it's fixed so obviously not fix the number of issues in the nexus missions nexus mission to collect heidel cars or heidel cars fix an input issue affecting an a, a number of ui screens in vr fix a number of collision issues with oxygen and sodium plants the error message displaying when using uh, an echo locator in a system without without any harmonic clamps have been improved the audio balance of the uh, i can't even pronounce that crystals have been adjusted fixed a rare issue that could cause overlay dense dark fog on some cor uh, corrupted planets I've, i noticed that and I actually noticed that issue there. When you actually land where your ship is, there's all fog all over that part where your ship is. But everywhere else on the planet, there isn't. So, <laughs> so I noticed that. I thought, hmm, where's all this fog coming from? But anyway, good. Thank you, Hello Games. It's fixed. Fixed an issue that caused the DPS readout on some Starship weapons to be hidden from the UI. Well, I haven't noticed that because I haven't upgraded any ships yet, but well done fantastic um let's keep going fix an issue that prevented the base complexity uh, option from appearing on the xbox one 
and Xbox One S. Okay, fix an issue that could cause corrupted sentinels to appear on non-corrupted worlds when playing on high difficulty settings. Fixed an issue that caused Starship Communicator holograms <coughs> and craftable bobbleheads to intersect with the cockpit elements in the Sentinel Interceptor. Okay, like I said, I ain't upgraded a ship yet, so I don't know that one, but brilliant. Fixed an issue that caused, caused the galaxy map to fail to display information about the dissonant, I'll say this right, dissonant, dissonant systems when playing on lower difficulty settings. Fixed an issue that caused the analysis advisor to report central ships as buildings. Okay, I found that, yep, brilliant, thank you. Fixed an issue that caused the message <coughs> intent to swarm players that their pulse drive has been disabled to incorrectly report that the pulse drive was available to use as always thank you to all the players who use the experimental take time to report any issues we in you encounter okay like me i reported a zen desk thing not long ago and let's go back to that zen desk thing now okay so there's an issue hello games okay i've sent you one okay and you sent me a reply back which i do appreciate and you said that you fixed it it was fixed for a brief minute and now it isn't okay so what it is is the controller issue okay the pc controller issue i use the xbox control pad okay there's a lot of people on youtube who use control pads a lot of players who use control pads on hello games if you're watching this it needs fixing because what happens is when you go into steam to actually put in your, your default settings that you've got they're not there okay they're gone so when you go and try and remap you can't because the right stick that i found doesn't work it does it only it doesn't work in the um menu settings you're in your menus um and your inventory it doesn't work there sorry about that guys it just notification popped up and um other than that uh it's basically just buggered so uh I've gone back to the Xbox Series S for now until they can fix that um, that issue. So all my videos from now on will be on the Xbox Series S. Sorry, got another notification. Um, and it'll be, uh, what do you call it? And then when that issue gets fixed with the controller, I'll be back on PC again. So there we go. Oh, and one last thing, guys. If you're a modder and you're looking at my mods on Nexus Mods, this is getting really annoying now, so stop messaging me that the mods are broken. I'm waiting for the mbin compiler to update, okay? When that updates in about a week's time, I can update all the mods, okay? So don't message me on Nexus Mods because I can't do anything about that, okay? Other than that, guys, I am back. I'm going to start making videos now and um, I'll do the review, I think, either today or tomorrow. And um, I'm sorry I haven't put any tutorials out, but basically I've been very, very unwell. But there we go, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.